Matthew here, your BRS beginner guru, and today in episode seven, we're not just cycling, we're biome cycling our aquarium. Our goal, avoid the five common uglies and get this tank ready for fish. Cycling our tanks has started to become a bit of an afterthought for a lot of us in this hobby. But for us beginners, it's crucial to understand. The nitrogen cycle is the process by which atmospheric nitrogen becomes a part of organic substances, then gets converted into other substances as that organic matter begins to break down, eventually completing the cycle and returning to atmospheric nitrogen, or N2. Different bacteria are responsible for each stage of this process, and our goal when cycling our aquariums is to build up those bacteria inside our tanks. Why? Because decomposing organic matter, such as fish food and fish waste, break down into ammonia, which is super toxic for our fish and coral. But if we successfully cycled our aquarium, then all of those beneficial bacteria are able to consume that toxic ammonia and break it down into other less toxic substances as it works its way through the nitrogen cycle. There are many different methods and products for cycling a saltwater aquarium, but here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna add bacteria and the food for that bacteria to feast on. The food is ammonium chloride and the bacteria is Fritz TurboStart. Following the directions, we'll add enough ammonium chloride to raise the concentration in our aquariums to two parts per million. We'll go ahead and test this with our HANA ammonia checker and make any adjustments as necessary. But if we're within plus or minus 0.5 parts per million, we're not gonna stress about it. Next, we'll add an entire bottle of the very stinky Fritz Turbo Start. We'll wait a few days and start water testing. We're gonna test for two things to tell us when the nitrogen cycle is complete, ammonia and nitrite. As the toxic ammonia is consumed by beneficial bacteria, it will get converted into less toxic nitrite. Eventually, our ammonia levels will bottom out, but our nitrite levels will start to spike. After our ammonia levels reach zero and our nitrite levels spike and then return to around zero, as far as our tank is concerned, the nitrogen cycle is complete and it's safe to add fish. With the nitrogen cycle complete, now we turn to the biome cycle. This is a new concept in our hobby that the BRS Investigates team has been leading the way on through their sixth month biome series. If you really want to nerd out, watch the entire series. It's groundbreaking and well worth the time. A biome is a community of organisms, both big, small, and microscopic, that live within and on your rock work, your sand, and your coral. When there's a harmonious balance between these competing organisms, the result is a visually stunning aquarium. But when there's a biome imbalance, the uglies appear. There are five common photosynthetic uglies we encounter in our systems, and our goal with biome cycling our aquariums is to lessen the severity of or completely eliminate the uglies from even showing up. This can be a complicated process that can take several months to achieve a balance, but there are a few things we can do right from the beginning to encourage that balanced biome from taking hold in our tank. The first thing we actually already did is adding Ocean Direct sand to our tank. In our testing, Ocean Direct, the only sand pulled directly from the ocean and packed with ocean water, brought immediate biodiversity to our tanks. This sand, which we added way back in episode two, contains the biodiversity of the ocean and does a way better job than any bottled bacteria could ever do. There is one more step to biocycling our tank and it's adding copepods. Copepods are really small invertebrates found in pretty much every single body of water, both salt and fresh. With some 13,000 known species, these tiny critters will always find a way to show up in our tanks eventually. In fact, I've noticed them already on the glass, and I'm guessing they were hitchhikers with the bag of ocean direct sand. Copepods are often overlooked and undervalued members of the cleanup crew. And each copepod species varies in size and in what they eat. Some eat film algae on the glass, some munch on diatoms all day, while others are tenacious detritivores and help keep our sand beds clean. We need different species of copepods in our tanks in order to accomplish different goals. By adding copepods immediately after cycling our tank, we are supercharging our biome with some serious algae eaters. 
There's no exact science here, but we added four bottles of Algae Barnes Galaxy Pods. Galaxy Pods are a mix of five different copepod species, each of which will tackle different issues in our aquarium. Up until this point, I've left the lights off in our aquarium, except when filming, of course, so as not to encourage the ugly diatoms from growing. But now that we've added copepods to the tank, we're gonna flip on and start our full lighting schedule to encourage that diatom growth. But to make sure we truly encourage our copepods to procreate and take over our entire tank, we will be feeding Algae Barnes Ocean Magic Phytoplankton daily. To give our copepods a chance to settle on the glass, rock, and sand bed, we turned the wave makers and return pump off. We added our four bottles of Galaxy Pod and then added some phytoplankton. After 30 minutes, we turned the pump and wave makers back on. Some uglies will likely rear their ugly heads after we add fish, but the outbreak will be much smaller and contained quicker because we added those Galaxy Pods. I've been staring at this innovative marine tank for three months now, every day dreaming of the fish I was gonna add. I want to do this right with only captive bred fish and inverts, and I want this tank to absolutely dazzle. And boy, oh boy, did we accomplish that goal. Tune in for episode eight to learn how to stock your tank ethically with tons of diversity and to create a harmonious piece of art. Thanks for watching, happy reefing, be well, and we'll see you soon.